Tonight's a bittersweet deer hunt. And it's bittersweet because it is the last hunt of the year. Uh, my season started back here early October with archery season uh, in Pennsylvania here. It's kind of on and off. Uh, it doesn't run non-stop till now, but we're in the middle of January. And today is the very last day of late season in my area. I'm gonna be taking the flintlock out here tonight. I uh, have a bucket to sit on and I'm gonna be sitting in a ground blind. Uh, I don't think I've ever brought you along in a ground blind. It's probably uh, not my favorite way to hunt. But this ground blind sets up pretty nicely over uh, this winter wheat field. And uh, I'm hoping the deer come out here and feed tonight and maybe I'll get a chance to uh, fill my last tag uh, on the very last day. So tag along, I'll see you in the blind. settled in here. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I rarely ever hunt on a ground blind, but it seems to be the best option tonight. My late season hunting here has been very tough. Uh, I came into the late season with just one doe tag left. Uh, and all through rifle season I was pretty particular with that tag. Uh, tonight I'm not going to be particular because it's the last night. Uh, if something legal comes out, I am going to be attempting a shot here. Uh, the weather can't seem to decide what it was to do today clouds uh, mixed with sun, the sun comes out, next minute snow flurry, snow squall comes through. Uh, it's been a pretty unique weather day here. Deer action has been pretty slow so far tonight. And to be honest, I kind of assumed it would be. Uh, if I see anything, I'm expecting it to be maybe in the last few minutes of legal shooting light. Uh, it's just usually how it happens here in late season. I've been sitting here uh, just reminiscing about uh, when exactly was the last time I killed a deer out of a ground blind. If I remember correctly, it was probably 16, maybe 17 years ago. Uh, I killed my last year out of a ground blind. Now I said I rarely ever hunt out of a ground blind, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I can specifically remember that hunt uh, because I had two of my three children along that night. Now when my kids were young, uh, I would take them along hunting with me uh, every chance I could. Uh, usually one at a time, but that particular night I can remember I took uh, two of the three kids with me. Uh, that's a recipe for disaster. Uh, but I got their little camo hats on. I think I might have put some face paint on them uh, and off to the ground blind we went. I was using an inline muzzle loader uh, and with the two young kids I was probably using the blind more as a containment system uh, and just trying to conceal their movement and their noise. Anybody that has taken really young kids uh, hunting knows that you aren't honestly looking to harvest a deer. Uh, it probably is not going to happen uh, with that much noise, that much movement. But in this particular hunt I actually had uh, several doe come out. Uh, now they were too far away to shoot at the time, uh, but just seeing deer with the kids along was quite a treat. Now throughout the evening, even before we saw these deer, I was having the kids practice. Now if we see something and I'm going to shoot, you're going to have to cover your ears. I didn't have any type of hearing protection or anything like that along for them. Now wouldn't you know it, uh, this group of deer that was way too far away, uh, one of those deer broke off from the group and came right up towards my ground blind. Now as you can imagine, uh, there was a ton of excitement inside this ground blind. We had two young kids, uh, I had my camera, tripod, myself, uh, the kids all wanted to see out the window to see the deer. Uh, I was trying to keep them quiet and keep their movement to a minimum. Uh, it was a pretty exciting time.
I ended up killing that deer uh, that evening, but the part I'll never forget is my son was so proud of himself because when I told them to hold their ears, I'm going to shoot, uh, he did not. He was proud that he did not hold his ears and that it was not too loud. Uh, he could care less about the deer. Uh, his older sister actually asked, did you get it? And he was just uh, in the background saying, I didn't hold my ears, I didn't hold my ears. That's a great memory that I'll never forget. Uh, that we had in that ground blind that night. And yes, I filmed my hunts even 15, 20 years ago. Uh, if you think my hunting footage is bad, uh, you can be glad you didn't have to watch it back then. That's gonna be a wrap on tonight's hunt and on the deer season for 2020, 2021 uh, deer season. Uh, it's been a good season. I've really enjoyed myself and I appreciate you following along. But with every end to the flintlock season, you gotta fire your gun off. So let's go out with a bang. Uh, let's fire this thing off and uh, end this season right here, right now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.